Good morning, welcome to Bitcoin Bounce. My name is Joseph, I'm here with uh, Dion and today we're looking at Bitcoin, where is Bitcoin going? We're also going to talk about uh, Ethereum today and uh, Dion has an awesome trade for us uh, on the, what was that coin again, Dion? <laughs> uh, on the Arweave coin. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Dion, what's happening with Bitcoin? Good morning, guys. How's it, Joseph? Um, so we're looking at Bitcoin on the daily. We're still trading in this wedge. Um, and like I said yesterday, I was expecting Bitcoin to come round about to this zone um, and then go back up again. So it, it's still looking good. We've got strong support here at 22,575 to 22,800. So there's quite a nice support zone there. Um, so I'm still expecting the same thing. I think Bitcoin might come down to this. The pink line here on my chart is the 20 EMA. So I think we might come down that low, um, but uh, I don't think so. So I, I still feel that we're going to turn around here and start going up or sideways. Um, we can have a look at that, uh, the FIB that we had yesterday as well. Um, the target there. Uh, let's get my chart right here. Yeah. So the <clears throat> the golden pocket zone that normally one would look for on a retracement is still down here. <clears throat> so I don't think we're going to go that low. I'm, I still expect like worst case like a week down into that zone and then um, back up again. So I wouldn't get into any trade on Bitcoin specifically at the moment. Um, if we break down this 20 from this 20 then we could look at a at a short down to this support line but i can't really see that happening and we can then wait for just a bounce out of this zone so if we get a solid confirmation bounce out of this this zone with like a strong rejection week um to show that we we've got strong support there then i would trade it back up to this 23 800 which is a strong resistance for us at the moment um I thought we could also just quickly look through some other indications. Uh, I just want to get it on my chart here. So there's this one index, the altcoin uh, perpetual index. So if we have a look at that, that's a basket of 10 of the biggest altcoins like Link and Dot and Ada. Um, and that's also generally just moving down to the support zone. So confirming what Bitcoin is doing. And if we look at the Bitcoin dominance chart, that's slowly going up, which also indicates then that the altcoins would slowly be going down a, a little pullback. Um, and then the other one we can look at is the total three. So this is the, the total um, money flow into and out of crypto. So at the moment also money is flowing out and we're coming to this uh, support here. So for all the altcoins, it looks as if we can today just expect a, a bit of a pullback or a slow, slow market, no, no specific fireworks. Um, and then for trade of the day, I'm looking at are we BTC pair. <clears throat> so on this daily chart, you can see that we've got a very strong res uh, support zone here. And out of that zone, we've had like beautiful bounces, um, massive bounces up. So also on are we we're waiting for this little bit of a pullback to hit that support and then expecting a nice big bounce. And I think then we could target at least a 20% move on, on our weave and I wouldn't even stop it out there. I would put a stop loss under it and then just hope that we could go and hit this high, this previous high, which was at 30%. So I think our weave is, is starting to, to get ready for a very nice trade. Yeah, and that's it from me, Joseph. Okay. Um, tell me about that altcoin chart that you showed us there. Um, what, what, uh, explain to me a little bit, what is that? So that is the, the 10, it's a basket of 10 of the most popular, uh, bigger and long standing coins. So it's like Bitcoin Cash, Link, Dot, 
Ada. So it's it's all the like really old, solid, strong uh, old coins. So it's a basket of them, and then it's a, a EMA, a moving average, exponential moving average combination of those 10 coins. So that would give you a, a very good indication. So if those 10 coins together are moving down, then you can know the whole altcoin market is moving down or moving up. So it's a, it's a very good indication of what's happening. So it's not a good, it's great for the way okay. you trade, yeah. <clears throat> but the way we trade looking for trades, um, yeah, it, it's, it's not great. Yeah, uh, I think that is nice. So when you actually see coins going out of sync of that, then you can possibly know it will go back into sync with that. That can also pose uh, trading opportunities, almost like the guys that do arbitrage uh, trading, you know. Okay, that, that's exciting. Uh, I love the Allweave project, um, almost in all my DCA uh, bundles that I um, that I put together, I have the Allweave coin in there. I think there's a lot of future uh, fundamental um, strength in that coin. So. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong to buy Arweave, even if you would not even buy it with a, a stop loss, because it will at some point spike upwards uh, tremendously because they're working so much on that project. So I think that's a wonderful trade. Um, I'm also going to uh, trade it, but you know I like the DCA, so I'm, I'm going to put a DCA strategy together for myself to trade that Arweave uh, uh, coin. Uh, thank you, Dion. Uh, that's good news. It's good that Bitcoin is pulling back a little bit. Uh, I don't want this bull run to happen overnight and then I wake up the next morning and it's done. Uh, I want, uh, I like this ebb and flow, you know, up and then pullbacks and up and pullbacks. And that's exactly what it's supposed to do. All right, guys, thank you. Uh, this was uh, all for our first session today. I hope you get into that Arweave uh, BTC trade. I think uh, that's an excellent 20% opportunity uh, that Dion has uh, given to us today. Um, I'm going to be back in an hour and we're going to talk about the Ethereum merge and I'm also going to give you a DCA trade that I think is going to be excellent. Um, uh, see you in an hour. Cheers guys.